Hello guys, good morning. Today is Monday, April 20th, and I feel like it's gotten to that point where I'm just over it. I'm over being at home. I want to get back to my life. I want to just enjoy being outside of my house instead of just enjoying my room. Um, so because of that, I figured why not pamper myself a little bit this morning. I'm going to call it a Monday pamper. That was really original. I figured I'd throw on a face mask, I'd throw on a hair mask, uh, tidy up my room a little bit, organize my day, and then work out and then film videos, I guess. Normally I like to film first thing in the morning so that I get it done and the house is a little bit more quiet, etc. But uh, I feel like this is the order of necessity today. So the mask that I'm going to be using today is by Laneige. I think that's how you say it. They actually sent me this. This is the mini pore water clay mask for all skin. It's a nice fat jar. This is 2.3 fluid ounces. It says that it's a solution for pores, oiliness, and dullness with uneven texture. And I'm having a little bit of oiliness in my T-zone, a little bit of uneven texture right now because I'm coming off of this allergic reaction to that fresh product that I told you about in the last vlog. Um, but it's really cool. I just, oh, it says, it's crafted from refreshing mint water and mineral mud. It glides smoothly onto skin. Oh, it doesn't say how many minutes I should leave it on for. Directions. It just says to let it dry completely and rinse off with lukewarm water. Okay, so it also came with this cool sponge that you wet and take it off really easily in the sink. And I didn't cleanse my skin, but I rinsed it with water since it is first thing in the morning. I'm not wearing makeup. It's not dirty. Um... It's $25, and the texture of the mask is actually unlike anything that I've ever felt from a mask before. It's almost like, it's almost bouncy in texture. So I'm just using this like old applicator that I have from a Glam Glow mask, and you guys will see like, you try to scoop it, it doesn't really scoop, it's like almost bouncy and comes on to the applicator. I don't know how else to describe it. But anyways, I'm just going to apply this all over my skin and leave it on for a bit and see how it goes. Okay, so I will say that was a little bit difficult to apply and I think it's because of the texture is a little bit more bouncy so it doesn't spread as easily. But I did still get a nice even layer across the skin and it's starting to dry now. So while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put a hair mask on. And the one that I love to use is the Olaplex number three repairs and strengthens for all hair types. It's just this little bottle right here and I like to use a... Um, finer tooth comb to brush it through the hair. So that's what I'm going to do with this and I like to split my hair up in sections to make sure that I'm actually coating the hair evenly instead of like just putting it on one section and trying to rub it through like no. So I just apply it straight onto the comb and then I'm going to brush it through. From roots to the end and I usually pick a day that I know that I'm gonna have to wash my hair to throw a mask in so that I'm not adding in an extra wash day because nobody enjoys washing their hair oh and since I know that I am gonna get questions I try to use this every other week um, or every three weeks. I just try to at least get one or two masks done per month. I am happy 
Okay, so now that I have the product completely brushed into my hair, what I like to do every single time that I put a mask on is to do a low bun. So I take my comb and I make a part right in the center. And then I'm going to brush these two sections down. And I get really close to the front of my hair. And I like to comb this really sleek and straight down on both sides. Okay. And then I start to comb as I gather the hair all together in the back. Okay, so I'm going to just grab all the hair together. And I like it to be just a little bit off the bottom. Otherwise, it hits into my hoodie usually. And then I'm just going to start fixing the hair and combing it back so that it is nice and sleek looking. So I usually do a few brushes with the comb and then I'll bring stuff back with my hand. And then I'm just going to go ahead and twist this whole section of hair and then make a little circle in the back. And then everything is nice and sleek and laid down. So I'm just gonna let this continue to dry while I make my bed and clean up the hair that just shed off of me and I'll be right back. I actually promised you guys yesterday that I would show you the completed look and you can see the lighting is a lot better today This is actually what the sweater color looks like in real life um, So I'll actually set you guys up here and show you a little Completed look. Yeah, you totally can't see it from the side of the room at all. Thank goodness. I have a nice window here that you can actually see things, but not really. I absolutely love it. It took legit, I'm not kidding you, maybe 10, 15 minutes. And then this is how the crop hoodie turned out. I told you guys I wanted to leave it on for a little bit longer so that I can get a little bit lighter. And I think that this is so cool. Onto the back. I love how this turned out. This is super cool. I'm excited to wear it. But I don't really feel like wearing anything cropped at the moment. And these brands are just coming out with like all these cropped hoodies kind of loungewear. And I'm like, where's the oversized stuff? That's what I need right now. Anyways, this is feeling pretty dry at this point. You guys will see I have some oilier areas that it's kind of pulled from, so let's go rinse it off.
not like that sponge. I didn't feel like it did anything that my hands couldn't do. Plus, it was a bit harsh. It felt like it was almost scratching my skin. So, in the future, I would just use my hands to take off the mask instead of using that. Anyways, let's do my morning skincare. Today I'm going to be using this. This is the Darfin Intral Serum. Now, this is for redness relief and it's a soothing serum. This I was recommended by a client of mine who has really bad allergic reactions like I do, but usually hers are like from the weather, pollen, that kind of thing. Mine's usually allergic reactions from products. Anyways, I read the reviews of this and other people have used it, like me, when they get just skin reactions, uh, texture bumps all over the skin, redness, anything like that. And this is made up of only really soothing ingredients like chamomile and jasmine. Oh, maybe not jasmine. I'm actually not sure. I need to look it up. But it has, for sure I know chamomile in here, which is very soothing. And it has been so, so good this past week. I've had, okay, so I got the allergic reaction two weeks ago on Mon Monday, I think. I'm not entirely sure. So I went a week of it really bad. And then I got this and I've been using it this past week and my skin is finally getting back to itself. For daily moisturizer today, this is Even Prime. This is my daily moisturizer. I love to use this in the daytime, especially when my skin is kind of going through it and I don't wanna put anything too heavy and I don't wanna put anything with fragrance. This doesn't have any fragrance. This is just the best moisturizer if you guys have sensitive skin. This has just been great. It doesn't leave an oily feeling to the skin it just does an incredible job. Then for just a touch of eye cream, I have this one that I've been trying to get through by Pharmacy. This is the Do It All. And I'm just grabbing a drop of it. And I always use my nails to grab things out of jars. And I've lost two nails. You guys, if you watched yesterday's vlog, you can literally hear my nail break when I go pick up the bottle of Clorox. Um, and then I had my other nail break last week i went on a hunt for acetone yesterday i went to like three different cvs's nobody had any 100 percent acetone left in stock then i looked online to see if i could find any at target also completely out of stock in stores only walmart same thing sold out only a few units left in store only but that was like an hour away i wasn't down and then I finally found at Sally's Beauty online because they're closed in stores right now. So I ordered that to come in and then I also ordered, um, apparently static nails are like the new really, really good quality press on nails that don't come off for weeks. It's gotten only really good reviews. So I ordered two sets of that, one like do your own nail polish and then one was just white acrylic in a uh, coffin shape. So those are coming in the mail soon, so I'll do like a taking off my acrylics and doing my nails vlog as soon as that comes in. Um, I'm expecting a Sephora package later today, so we're going to do a haul, assuming that comes in. I'm really excited about it. And that's all my new skincare that I ordered, you guys. And then tomorrow is the Sephora sale for VIB, so I'm going to be placing an order of just like a few other bits that I didn't grab. Um, and those are going to be coming in the mail soon, too. So right now what I need to do is I need to film a few videos. I need to eat breakfast also. I'll film and then eat breakfast. And I'll eat breakfast while I edit. Great, great plan.
All right, I'm just about ready to film, but I'm just using a little bit of this Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme just on the edges of my lips. That's gonna still give your lips that pout because it will still swell up the edges, but I don't like a glossy gloss on my lips because I just feel like it gets in the way and it's a very uncomfortable feeling so I don't really like lipstick lip anything I'll wear it when I'm going out but when I'm filming I don't like to have anything on my lips so this is the finished look I just did blush as bronzer and I use a little bit of Mac golden glow as a highlight blush topper smudged a little bit of brown shadow stick from nude sticks into the lash line and made a little bit of a wing with that Ooh, I'm feeling the tingling. And I filled in my brows, put mascara on, and now we're ready to film. Today I'm filming the second part of the makeup products to invest in. I'm going to be doing which products to save your money on. So I'm going to talk about all my drugstore picks. And then I also wanted to do a video on how often and how I clean my beauty blender. And... Those are the videos that I'm filming today. And then on Wednesday, I'm going to be filming my talentless sweat suit review and haul video. So keep your eye out for all those videos. They should be coming in the near future. If any of them are up, I will link them in the description box. I'm so excited, you guys. Guess what just came? My Sephora package. All right, so <laughs> I've been waiting for this since the first week of April and it's finally here and by the way did anyone else not get any actual messages emails notifications that the Sephora sale was happening soon this is the first oh my hold on this is the first actual something that I've gotten about the sale and it starts tomorrow for VIB cool Good thing I didn't mess it. Anyways, the first thing that I got is a repurchase. This is the True Cream Aqua Balm from Belief. And I have had mine for just about a year. And I have like another two or three uses in here. So I wanted to make sure that I repurchased that. The next thing that I got was the Ordinary's Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1% High Strength Vitamin and Mineral Blemish Formula. So this is a, um, what are we calling this? An active ingredient. So you would put this on after you cleanse your skin. You can put a toner underneath it and then you'll go ahead and use this, then a serum, then your moisturizer and niacinamide is just amazing for the skin. It's such a good ingredient. It's very relaxing and soothing, great for sensitive skin. Same with zinc. It has um, properties to fight against skin texture, acne, and I believe also um, redness. So this is like an amazing, amazing product. And guys, it's only like $10. The Ordinary is such a great brand. I also got the Ulla Henriksen Counterbalance Oil Control Hydrator. This is an ultralight moisturizer that controls oil and mattifies with green fusion complex. Um, and it has AHAs in here. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, so I got this as like a daytime moisturizer, something that's going to make sure that I don't get oily throughout the day and is mattifying. And I didn't have a toner that was hydrating or really a toner at all. I don't have a toner right now. So I got the Belief Aqua Balm Hydrating Toner and this refreshing splash of instant hydration that floods the skin with moisture. And this is made with honeysuckle and something else that I can't pronounce. But this is gonna basically make sure that your moisturizers and serums really penetrate deeply into the skin after this step and this is probably made with hyaluronic acid also basically what you're gonna do with this is moisten a cotton pad and gently sweep across the face um, 
toners you guys are not meant to be a second step of cleansing of the skin you just want to add the product into the skin so when you go in with a cotton wipe and your toner and you still see dirt on it that means that your cleanser is not very good or you didn't do a good job at cleansing with your cleanser so just so you know that's a little pro tip for you I also got this Saturday Skin Rub-A-Dub Refining Peel Gel. And this is one of those peels that breaks up the dead skin on your, on your face. And you can literally see the dead skin kind of falling off of your face. And I was using the Peter Thomas Roth one in the past. But that one is so expensive. And the brand is not cruelty free. I wanted to start moving towards cleaner ingredient skincare. And this is Clean at Sephora and I'm really excited. You want to cleanse your skin first with this and then apply it on the skin in circular motions and then you rinse with warm water and you only use this once or twice a week. I usually use it once a week or once every other week and it's made with peptides so it promotes skin's natural regeneration process. This is so fun. Then from Herbivore, I got the Pink Cloud Rose Water Moisture Cream. And this is for visibly plumping and, so and smoothing your skin, leaving it with a glowing and slightly dewy finish. It includes rose water, aloe water, and white tea extract to moisten and soothe while reducing the appearance of redness due to dryness. Oh, this is so pretty. Look how pretty the packaging is with the pink clouds. And here is the cream and this is the first cream that I have that comes with a little spatula so that you don't have to dip your hands in there every single time you go to apply I love this box I don't want to get rid of it but I don't know what I would keep in here <laughs> and then I also got the summer Fridays super amino gel cleanser and I love a gel cleanser and this one is said to Balance the pH levels of your skin and wash away any makeup and impurities while moisturizing and nourishing the skin. Now, a lot of products have different ingredients in it that can tend to um, disrupt the natural pH level of the skin. So this is going to make sure that everything kind of balances out again. And when you have something that's super acidic and this and that and blah, 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 sometimes it can tend to break you out. So it's nice to have something that's going to rebalance everything. Yes. And it came with a sample of the jet lag mask, which everyone has been telling me about, but I actually didn't purchase it in this haul. I really like how weighted this bottle of cleanser is. It sounds like it's glass, so that's cool. And I'm actually intrigued to see if it really removes makeup. That'll be an interesting test. And then the last thing in here was a point perk. Uh, I think it was like 100 250 points i can't remember now this is the youth to the people green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser now i've heard amazing things about this but i had just bought this cleanser so i was like i don't want to buy the full size until i try it so i figured this is a good way to try the cleanser to see how it works for me though i'm sure that it's going to be amazing because it's like one of the most used cleansers right now and then with that came the adaptogen deep moisture cream and i'm excited to try this as well no scent there but that brand is very intriguing to me i want to try more things but for now i'm gonna just try that i'm gonna keep this in the box because i need to finish my other one first so that's it for this part one skincare haul i'm obviously placing an order tomorrow also just to replace a few things and to get a few other bits that i forgot to get in this and so Stay tuned for part two. And if you guys want to see a new skincare routine, then let me know in the comment section below. So the sister and I have decided that we're bored as shit. And uh, we're gonna go for a drive. Cause we can. <sighs> this is so eventful. So exciting. We should drive. I've been telling her for weeks that we should drive all the way to Palm Springs and just turn around and come back just for fun. Yeah, such a good waste of gas and mileage. I don't understand. It's so hot. It is hot. How hot so is it So I'm today? like, uh, oh, so hot. So I'm like 600 miles under. Okay, I... so how far is Palm Springs? 200 miles each way. Is it? No, it's not, it's 180. Oh, it's such a big difference. It is a big difference since you're counting every mile. 
Wow. Why don't we go to Post what a beautiful we'll drive in the neighborhood. Okay. Anything we should drive up the coast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's drive down PCH. It's for sure empty. I'm not doing that right now. Can you please take me on a drive? I said. You're in the car on a drive right now. No, I want to go to the PCH. I said we'll go to the PCH tomorrow. I don't want to go tomorrow. I want to go today. No. I want to go today. Well, you know what? You don't always get what you want. Adina, I don't even have a car. That's not nice. I would go if get a car. I can't. Get a car. You, you can't say things like that to me because you know that I can't. Wow. They're building houses everywhere. I know. How do people still have money to build houses? I don't know. I don't get it. I don't have what any money. Circle Park is closed, sir. He's cleaning it. Maintenance. It's closed. I think that that's allowed. Remember when I used to work out there once? <laughs> and I can't even work, not work out there. I don't even have the option to not work out there. <laughs> it's okay. You have the option to also not work out at our house. Yeah, but I don't. Yeah, I know. That's why I said not work out. No, no, no. I don't not work out. That was a double negative. Uh-uh. I'm pretty sure that well, was a double negative. Well, negative means positive. It means I work out. I'm not sure that's how that works. So we're going to the PCH? Nope. Mm, worth a try. So you guys have been saying that you want to see what I eat in a day. I really don't eat that clean. Today I'm having rice cakes with regular Skippy peanut butter and the Knott's boysenberry jam. Mm-hmm. I used to do this with almond butter, but almond butter really hurts my stomach and I don't like just organic peanut butter. It's not for me, I really like Skippy. So it's much later in the day now, it's 6 p.m. I think that the last time I checked in with you was uh, maybe noonish. Um, and, oh no, probably at least one or two actually because we went on a drive. After our drive, I just started editing this vlog and a bunch of other videos. I put another vlog live, I uh, had a call uh then we just got back from an hour long walk and i'm about to have a pt session my client is at 6 30 p.m and then i'm just going to showery dinner probably watch some tv and go to sleep so i think this is where i'm going to end this vlog but tomorrow's is going to be a good one because i'm going to go through a day in my life using all of my favorite beauty products and all my new skincare that i got in the mail yesterday so you guys have been asking to see what my current favorites are so you guys will see that in tomorrow's video i hope that you liked this one if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe and i will see you tomorrow bye